Hi, I'm Chris Howard, and I'm the author of the upcoming novel Night Speed, and these are some fun facts about me. I have an accent, everyone has an accent, but I grew up in England. When I was about 18, I, I left England. I lived in Australia for a while. I've traveled actually quite a bit all around different places, parts of the world. So I ended up in a very interesting, exciting place, which is the United States. And uh, ever since I have lived here, people have noticed my accent and they usually think I'm Australian. They'll say, you know, g'day mate. And I just roll with it and, you know, yeah, g'day. <laughs> You're right back at them. I'm not competitive at all, actually. I'm sort of one of those people, if I'm on your team, you get mad at me because I don't really care about winning. But I'm really good at thumb war and have never been beaten. I think physiologically, my, my thumb is just is perfectly designed and evolved. It's, very, it's, it's quite flat right here. I have a tactic where I, I, I let the person think they're winning by pinning my thumb down, but then I can always get out and then I trap them. So it's a, that's kind of my signature move. I built a treadmill desk so I would, because I love to write and I'll sit for many hours. People think when you say treadmill desk, they picture that you're kind of, you know, in your, in your workout gear, jogging away. Um, but I usually walk about two miles an hour and um, it's great because you move in and kind of gets the blood flowing and whatnot. With night speed, I actually there's a lot of high octane, fast paced action scenes, and I would up the speed on the treadmill for times when the characters are going really fast to kind of get that. Um, I guess like method acting, you know. So, so I'd be going really fast, and the feeling of all you know having the whole like barely hanging on because you're moving so quickly. I would literally be barely. I'd be, you know, inches away from coming flying off the treadmill, I guess, basically. Roald Dahl, I um, have a glowing, happy memory of meeting him when I was very young. I loved his books and probably the biggest impression an author's ever made on me, you know, as, as far as meeting someone in person. It was just a marvel to meet such a lovely chap and wonderful imagination, beautiful books. So many stories that I connected with. I think Danny, the champion of the world, was Probably my favorite. I love music, um, listening to it, playing it. I'm kind of a recovering musician in a way because I used to do a lot more with it and was uh, spent way too many hours every day recording music, thinking about music, and uh, uh, I still like to play it, but now it's a little more to relax versus you know always trying to create some awesome new song or something. <laughs> Okay, yeah, I am a coffee snob slash coffee nerd. I think I'd rather be a coffee nerd than a snob. So I keep a coffee journal, which is a small little book. So, yeah, you write down you know, who roasted the coffee and when, when they roasted it, and then when you made it, how you prepared it, and make some notes about your thoughts on the flavor. So it's a nice thing to do in the morning if you're having a cup of coffee, uh, then write, get your brain active. If you're a writer, you know, you have a coffee, you're getting all, caffeinated and enjoying the coffee and you get to sort of get creative in describing the coffee so it gets my creative juices flowing in the, in the morning. I did want to, when I was a kid, um, more than a writer, I wanted to be an archaeologist, but I didn't, I wanted to be Indiana Jones. Um, and my dad was big on trying to, um, you know, get me excited about a future career that he was really gonna you know, that I was going to embrace. And so, as soon as I said I wanted to be an archaeologist, he was really great about signing me up for this archaeological dig nearby, and I went to help out so I could learn about it. And I spent all day with a toothbrush, um, scraping at this little fossil, it was, you know, it was a tiny little thing in the ground, and it was nothing like Indiana Jones um, whatsoever. And I came home that day realizing that that was not going to be my career. I was no longer interested, my dad was a little devastated. 